The Murid War, which unfolded between the 1830s and 1859, represents one of the most significant and protracted conflicts in the history of the Caucasus region. This war, which took place in the rugged and mountainous terrain of the North Caucasus, involved a fierce struggle between the expanding Russian Empire and the indigenous Muslim populations, primarily the Chechens, Dagestanis, and Circassians. These populations were united under the leadership of the Sufi Muslim leader Imam Shamil, who spearheaded a resistance movement rooted in the principles of Muridism, a branch of Sufism. The Murid War was not only a military confrontation, but also a clash of cultures, ideologies, and religions that would leave an indelible mark on the history of the region and shape its future for generations to come. The origins of the Murid War can be traced back to the early 19th century, when the Russian Empire, under the rule of Tsar Alexander I, began its expansion into the Caucasus. The Caucasus, with its diverse and fiercely independent peoples, had long resisted external domination. The region's rugged terrain, characterized by steep mountains, deep valleys, and dense forests, made it a formidable challenge for any invading force. The Russian Empire, however, was determined to extend its influence and secure its southern borders, particularly against the encroaching influence of the Ottoman Empire and Persia. The initial Russian incursions into the Caucasus were met with stiff resistance from the local populations. The Chechens, in particular, had a long history of resisting foreign domination and were determined to defend their lands and way of life. The introduction of Muridism, a mystical form of Sufism that emphasized spiritual discipline, asceticism, and unwavering loyalty to the Imam, provided the ideological foundation for the resistance. Muridism spread rapidly among the Muslim populations of the North Caucasus, uniting them in a common cause against the Russian invaders. The early stages of the Murid War were characterized by sporadic skirmishes and guerrilla warfare. The Russian military, unfamiliar with the terrain and tactics of the Caucasian fighters, struggled to make significant inroads into the region. The mountainous landscape provided the Murids with natural fortifications, allowing them to launch hit-and-run attacks against the Russian forces. The Russians, in turn, responded with brutal reprisals against the local populations, including the destruction of villages and the forced relocation of entire communities. These harsh measures only served to further inflame resistance and deepen the resolve of the Murids. In 1834, the Murid movement found its most iconic and effective leader in the form of Imam Shamil. Born in 1797 in the Dagestani village of Gimri, Shamil was a man of exceptional charisma, military skill, and spiritual authority. He was deeply influenced by the teachings of his mentor, Sheikh Mansur, who had earlier led a similar resistance against the Russians. Shamil's leadership transformed the Murid movement from a loose coalition of tribes into a formidable and well-organized resistance force. He was not only a military leader, but also a spiritual guide, embodying the principles of Muridism and inspiring his followers to view their struggle as a jihad or holy war against the infidels. Under Shamil's leadership, the Murid War entered a new and more intense phase. Shamil implemented a highly effective system of guerrilla warfare, using the difficult terrain of the Caucasus to his advantage. His forces, composed of highly motivated and disciplined fighters, were able to inflict significant casualties on the Russian troops who were often demoralized and unprepared for the brutal conditions of the campaign. Shamil also established a network of fortresses and strongholds throughout the Caucasus, from which he could launch raids and provide refuge for his followers. His base of operations was the village of Akolgo, which became a symbol of resistance and defiance against Russian rule. One of the most significant battles of the Murid War occurred in 1839, when the Russians, under General Pavelgrab, launched a major offensive against Akolgo. The siege of Akolgo lasted for several months and was marked by fierce and desperate fighting. Shamil's forces, though vastly outnumbered and outgunned, held out against the Russian assault, inflicting heavy casualties on the attackers. The defenders used the natural fortifications of the village, as well as a network of tunnels and caves, to repel the Russian advances. 
The siege ended with the fall of a Kolgo, but Shamil managed to escape with a small group of followers, continuing the resistance from other strongholds in the mountains. The fall of a Kolgo marked a turning point in the Murid War. Although the Russians had achieved a symbolic victory, the conflict was far from over. Shamil's escape ensured that the resistance would continue, and his survival became a rallying point for the Murid movement. The Russian military, however, intensified its efforts to crush the rebellion, employing increasingly brutal tactics. The policy of scorched earth, involving the destruction of crops, livestock, and villages, was implemented to deprive the Murids of support and resources. This strategy had devastating effects on the civilian population, leading to widespread famine and suffering. Despite these hardships, Shamil's influence continued to grow. He was able to unite the various Muslim tribes of the North Caucasus under his leadership, forging alliances with the Circassians, the Avars, and other groups. His ability to maintain cohesion among the diverse and often fractious tribes was testament to his leadership and the appeal of the Murid ideology. Shamil also sought to gain international support for his cause, particularly from the Ottoman Empire and Persia, though these efforts were largely unsuccessful. The war continued to drag on through the 1840s and 1850s, with both sides suffering heavy losses. The Russian military, under the leadership of generals like Mikhail Vorontsov and Alexei Yermolov, made slow and painful progress into the heart of the Caucasus. The rugged terrain, combined with the relentless resistance of the Murids, made the campaign one of the most difficult and costly in Russian military history. The conflict became a war of attrition, with both sides engaged in a brutal and protracted struggle for control of the region. By the mid-1850s, however, the tide began to turn in favor of the Russians. The Crimean War, 1853-1856, had strained Russian resources and diverted attention away from the Caucasus, but it also underscored the strategic importance of the region. After the conclusion of the Crimean War, the Russian Empire redoubled its efforts to subdue the North Caucasus. The introduction of new military technologies, including the use of artillery and improved communications, gave the Russians a decisive advantage. The construction of military roads and fortifications allowed them to penetrate deeper into the mountains and disrupt the supply lines of the Murids. In 1859, after more than two decades of relentless warfare, Imam Shamil was finally captured by Russian forces. The capture of Shamil marked the effective end of the Murid War, though resistance continued in some areas for a few more years. Shamil was treated with a degree of respect by his captors and was allowed to live out his remaining years in relative comfort in Russia. His capture, however, symbolized the end of an era and the final consolidation of Russian control over the North Caucasus. The Murid War had a profound and lasting impact on the history of the Caucasus and the Russian Empire. The conflict resulted in the devastation of large parts of the region, with countless villages destroyed and tens of thousands of people displaced or killed. The social and economic fabric of the Caucasus was irreparably damaged, and the memory of the war left deep scars on the collective consciousness of the local populations. The Russian victory also led to the forced assimilation and Russification of the Muslim populations, with many of the traditional customs and ways of life being suppressed or altered. Imam Shamil remains a revered figure in the history of the Caucasus, celebrated as a symbol of resistance and defiance against foreign domination. His leadership and the Murid movement have been the subject of numerous historical studies, literary works, and cultural representations. The Murid War itself is remembered as one of the most significant and tragic chapters in the history of the Caucasus, a conflict that exemplified the clash between the forces of empire and the fierce independence of the mountain peoples. In conclusion, the Murid War, 1830-1859, was a prolonged and brutal conflict that pitted the expanding Russian empire against the indigenous Muslim populations of the North Caucasus. Led by Imam Shamil, the Murids waged a determined and tenacious resistance against Russian rule, drawing on the principles of Muridism 
and utilizing the challenging terrain of the region to their advantage. The war was marked by intense and protracted fighting, significant casualties on both sides, and the eventual capture of Shamil in 1859. The legacy of the Murid War continues to resonate in the history and culture of the Caucasus, serving as a powerful reminder of the enduring struggle for independence and the complexities of imperial conquest.